Good morning. How you guys doing? Um, okay, so I came on a few minutes early. Uh, just going to give you some technical information, nothing major, nothing show related yet. Uh, I just want to say that uh, last week I had some issues, technical issues. I used, I was, well, I was trying to do high def. And the software that I'm using right now to broadcast this with YouTube, uh, it doesn't let me do high def unless I pay for their pro version. I didn't know that. So once I set it up, YouTube said, oh, well, you know, we can't, we can do high def, but your streaming software is not sending it to us on high def. So make sure they match. So if you go to the streaming software, you have to cancel the whole broadcast, which created a whole different link. So all of you were on one link last week and I, and I couldn't get the message to you to go to the other. So some of you found your way to the new broadcast. Anyway, it's all confusing, but uh, I'm back on the old software right now just to ensure a good broadcast, but I'm this close. I did a test run this week. Some of you saw my test broadcast, which I've already deleted, but I did a test run this week and there is a free open source. It's called OBS. I think it's open broadcast system or something like that. That will let me broadcast in 720 or, or 1080, which I'm just going to do 720. It's good enough. And, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. So I should be in high def. I just have to fix. There's a little audio issue where my voice doesn't match my my picture. Uh, I just have to do a delay on the audio just by one and a half seconds. I haven't tested out, so I'll do another test this week. I should have it finalized, and then I can get real fancy on the broadcast. I'm so excited. Uh, it's gonna be great. So sorry about that. Message is coming in on the phone. So anyway, so we're a few minutes early. What time is it? Oh, we got five minutes. Uh, that's all good. So uh, I'm going to try to answer your questions. If you've never been uh, watching the show live, basically uh, I'll talk about some topics I have right here on my screen. And then I, between topics, I go to the questions and I glance to see if I don't answer your question. Um, just repeat it, copy and paste it again. But don't don't abuse it. Don't do like 12 of them in a row or all every you know, every other comment, but, uh, my phone is blowing up right now, getting all these text messages. You guys can hear me, right? I didn't even, I didn't even ask about that. I just guessed because the readout's going good. Uh, who is bugging me? Oh, all right. Hey, Richard, thanks for retweeting that. All right. It's just, uh, it's all good. I love social media. Okay. So, um, also we got a few more minutes. Uh, this isn't a. This wasn't a planned comment. I I got a few comments on my videos that were, um, oh no, on social media. I'm sorry, not on YouTube, but on social media. And a few people, how do I say this? Uh, they like to they like to say the phrase to me, "Wow, Jack, that's not very Christian like of you." Okay, this isn't a religious show, but I just want to ask everybody if you. If you want to call me out or I've said something inappropriate or I'm not being a good boy or whatever it is, that's fine. Write me privately um, and I'll remove the comment or I'll apologize or whatever. It's the only way I'm going to get better. But to judge my faith and this to use to throw Christianity in my face is just insulting from minute one. If you're an atheist then what do you care if I'm a good Christian? And if you are a believer, then you should be looking at the log in your eye and not the splinter in mine. So all I ask is that just be straight with me. I want to be better. I don't want to say inappropriate things. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to come across wrong. I don't want to offend anybody. But I also have my opinions. So if you don't care for something I wrote or something I put in a video or whatever it is, write me privately. But don't start with, wow, Jack, that sure isn't very Christian-like of you because that sends me to the moon, okay? And then I don't care what you think, and that's not good either. I want to get better. I want to be nicer. I want to be a better person. So with that said, we're coming up on 11 o'clock, and we're going to start the topics. Um, I do know that yesterday was a big day in gaming. I don't know if many of you play games, but... Uh, uh, Destiny came out yesterday and it was exciting. If any of you pre-ordered Destiny doesn't come out, uh, for those of you who know something about games, 
Uh, Destiny doesn't come out until September 9th, I think it is. But the beta version, a little sample, a little, like, kind of almost like a demo, uh, came out yesterday for PS4 and comes out on the 23rd for Xbox, okay? And it was crazy. It took me four hours to even get to, get to download it. Not download it, get to download it. So then I started downloading. Half hour went by downloading and only like eight, 10% was done. It was crazy. Everybody was on this. It crashed Bungie. The, the developer, it crashed their website. It crashed Sony PlayStation website. It was un, boy, it's blown up. It was unbelievable. Destiny was the hot ticket. People were live streaming Destiny. Uh, this is from the makers of Halo. And I remember the first day playing Halo 1. It was like my gaming experience went to a whole nother level. It was amazing. Halo 2, awesome. Halo 3, okay. Halo 4, still, really? It's the same as Halo 1. And then Halo 5 and say whatever they were all called. Um, they didn't really grow up. The Halo series didn't grow up. Same weapons, same enemies, same kind of vehicles and all that stuff. But Bungie decided to go to all platforms with a new series, a new game called Destiny. And it's a lot of fun. I'm not going to ruin it for anybody, uh, but I will. Here, here's what it looks like. Here's the uh, beta picture right here. Anyway, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've played it only for about maybe an hour and a half, two hours. I'm only like on level three right now. And uh, and if you if you pre-ordered it, you were given a code. If you didn't pre-order it, um, as you can see, I have three codes there on the screen. All right, the top one I used. The other two I haven't used. So if you guys want those codes, uh, it only I think it only works once. So if you want to uh, go to PlayStation uh, 4 or go to Sony's website, uh, PSN, whatever it is, whatever they call that network, uh, go there and use one of those two codes. It'll allow you to download the beta. That's for everybody who pre-ordered it, okay? So there you go. If you missed it, uh, just wait for the recorded version and it'll be in that video. But anyway, those are my two extra codes. You guys can have them because I'm already playing it. I'm loving it. Jack Jr. is downloading it right now. Uh, you can play with your friends. You can on your friends list. You can invite friends to come in to the world and play with you. And that's as far as I'm going to tell you. Everything else is cool. The graphics is cool. The gameplay controls are, are clean. Uh, this is a really high quality game. It, even in beta form. Uh, it, I haven't found any errors yet. You guys might have. No graphic errors. It's really, uh, I love the world, the environments, the weapons. Everything's a lot of fun. And it's just fun to play. You know how it's like you'll play a Call of Duty and you don't feel like you could see everything? You ever play a video game and you just like, everything's cluttered. Trees and buildings and trash and garbage. And, and this isn't like that. This is easy to see, easy to play. It's clean. Uh, I don't even know if they have levels of hardness or not. I didn't even check. But uh, anyway, so Destiny's cool. Check that out. All right, so let's talk about the title. Chocolate Chip... Oh, let's go to you guys first. I'm sorry. Chocolate Chip Rib Salad. I just combined everything I'm going to talk about in one title. That's what I did. Uh, can you do more videos where you test products that have been seen on TV? I miss those. Jennifer, if you have anything in mind, please send it to me. Uh, I have a few items that I want to I buy. Uh, I just... It has to be food or kitchen related. I don't do like the, you know stuff like the garden hose thing or anything else. It's got to be food or kitchen related or gardening. Sometimes, if, you know, if it's a vegetable garden thing, uh, I might check it out. Hi, Jack from the Bahamas. Just browing 007. Um, hey, how you doing? God bless the Bahamas. Um, I'm thinking, I think we're going on a cruise, Tammy and I, to the Bahamas. We have these points saved up with our timeshare, and I think we can change our points into a, a cruise. I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you guys know. I think we're going to do that next year. And if so, I'll take you guys with me. Like my Alaska cruise, I did like a five part video series and I showed you all the restaurants on the boat and it, it was crazy. Um, let's see. X bone next week. Can't wait. Red rum. All right. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. It is, uh, wait a minute. Is this a multiplayer? This is a multiplayer, uh, because uh, I played Destiny one player, so uh, Red Five Cherry is it a mul uh, a multiplayer only? I don't think it is. I mean, you can do multiplayer, but it'll say like from what I saw, it was one to three players or something like that. And 
<laughs> Red Pipe Cherry's been downloaded for four hours. It's still on 30%. Jack's downloaded pretty fast, so uh, I don't know. I have no idea why. Uh, maybe everybody's awake again and they're all down. The people didn't get it yesterday. Uh, Jack, where are the posters you used to have in the background in your other house? Uh, I'm not going to use, I'm doing, I'm going to do a nice setup behind me. And I don't want to tell you what it is. I'm buying it, uh, stuff for behind me that'll look clean and nice and all that. So I haven't done this room yet. Uh, we're still, uh, kitchen's done, living room's done. We have a lot in the garage and we have all our damaged stuff everywhere because we can't get rid of it yet because of our case. So, uh. Uh, those posters, I have them, but I probably won't be putting them back up behind me. I'm going to get new stuff for behind me, or you'll see new stuff. Uh, the other thing is, give you an update on my moving fiasco. All my stuff got damaged. Uh, I basically, it's still going on, the case. Uh, I can't discuss it so that I don't ruin my case. So, just want to let you know, uh, nothing's been resolved yet. And one way or another, I will give you guys answers on how this whole thing ends. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I moved here from California. The moving company destroyed all our appliances. $26,000 in damages. And it's just every appliance we had got damaged. So, uh, or in our bed got damaged. And it's a, it's a mess. We're sleeping on a deformed mattress right now. And it's not good. So anyway, uh, moving on to happy stuff. <clears throat> United probably ruined them. I didn't even see that. Uh, made in the USA, 1975. Great comment. Alright, uh, da, 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 da. hey Jack, sorry for adding your personal account again. I made new a new Facebook, City Ruler One. Uh, sorry for adding me. I, I'm not I'm not upset about anything. So if you want to invite me to your new personal account or uh, be friends with me, let's do it. Uh, say hi if you got this. Brendan's eleven. Uh, hi. I, I don't know if you're even talking to me. It's great. Hey Jack, just joined. Hey Dan. Welcome to the family. Very cool. Let's see. Uh, Watchdog. Hey, Jack. Like to hear more about your beliefs. Um, I try to stick. The live show is usually food, games, and sports, and you know, kind of a bunch of stuff like that. Um, my beliefs. Uh, you're more than welcome to talk to me privately. I'll tell you everything about it. We can have discussions. If you want to Skype, we can Skype. But uh, I really don't want to turn this into anything political or religious because we all know how that goes so every so often my facebook i mean i could say hey guys look at this hot dog and show you a picture of a hot dog in 10 comments on my facebook it'll turn into obama slamming or religion slamming or something it just does I, it's just the way of facebook and the way of twitter and well twitter doesn't really do that they don't have threads not quite so, uh, so yeah, so you watchdog, you can uh, write me privately and I'll answer any, I'll answer anybody's questions about my belief system, uh, off the camera right now though, uh, we're talking about good food and smoking series and stuff. Uh, let's see here. What else we got before I go to, uh, uh, is it Deepak Saini? When are you going to smoke ribs? I will be smoking ribs tomorrow. I'm going to film the episode tonight and tomorrow uh it'll air next friday i think all my smoking videos for the next few weeks are going to be on the friday episodes and then i have summer salad i want to do which i have to do on monday uh it did my life's crazy because i'm filming a taco place this afternoon as soon as i get off camera i'm going next door my buddy patrick my neighbor and i were going to a place called juicy Taco. juicy taco sorry <laughs> that's what it's called they called it that so we're going to be going there filming and then uh I'll season the ribs tonight. I got to pick up a second rack. Um, so we're going to do that tonight. I can't wait. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing a smoking series. I have a new Traeger. And the cool thing is, my mouth's watering just talking about it. Uh, the cool thing is, I'm going to do, it's called Random Rub Ribs. It's where I'm going to just turn around on camera and I'm just going to grab stuff out of my seasoning cabinet and we're gonna put it all in a bowl, mix it all up, and then rub it into the ribs. I'm, I have no idea. I know there's gonna be something sweet about it. I know there's gonna be something, some heat on it, but I don't know what I'm gonna grab. So I have a, a full cabinet of stuff, and I'm just gonna mix stuff together, and we're gonna put some good flavors together, and here we go. Oh, did you hear that? That was great. I just saved 60 bucks. Okay, so be ready for that episode on Friday. 
uh, I'll do my first summer salad on Tuesday. And every Saturday morning, we're live right here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba. I think that's it. All right, you guys keep the questions coming. I'm going to go to my next topic right now. Water bottle. Jeez. I got to turn. I got to put this phone somewhere else. It's just vibrating off the table. Here, I'll put you right there. Okay. Water bottle. Uh, you guys have sent me this how to separate the yolk from the white. This water bottle video. Okay. And I keep telling everybody. So I just thought I'd talk about it on the show. Wow, it works great. I'm telling you right now, when I'm separating eggs, there's never an empty water bottle around. There just isn't. It's not like I would keep one in the cupboard and I never have one around. So it, it's a great little trick and tip and all that stuff. But really, honestly, who has a water bottle around when they're separating? It's just easier to just crack it, open it in half and toss the yolk back and forth and let the white fall out. I mean, that's how I do it. So... It's a great little tip, and the only reason I haven't tried it on my show is because I really don't think anybody has an empty water bottle that size, because you don't want to go too big, that size, it's just never laying around in most people's kitchens. Usually you throw it out, or you put it on the patio in the recycle bin, or whatever, and it's, just, and it's dirty then. Who wants to bring that in and touch your eggs with it? I don't know. So that's, that's my, I appreciate you guys sending me the coolest stuff. Keep sending stuff. I just want to tell you why I didn't do that tip. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's refresh your comments and see what we got. <laughs> okay. Come visit Japan Sushi Wars. Critical hit. I would love to film in Japan. That would be so cool. They wouldn't even care. Because they in Japan, cameras are rolling all the time. In your face, everywhere. The Japanese, they love their, their phones. And they're always using them. In America, they're still kind of weird about it when you break out a phone. People start doing this. It's like, really? Are you with somebody you shouldn't be with? Do you not want to be on camera for a reason? I don't, I try not to film people purposely for any reason, unless they give me their permission. Otherwise, I just stick to my food and me, and if somebody's in the background, oh well. But uh, I would love to go to Japan. That would be awesome. Uh, kids can cook too. Any more coming soon? Uh, probably not. Jack Jr. is concentrating again on his gaming channel. Uh, so he's going to be uh, uploading videos to his gaming channel uh, real soon. And he's friends, I don't know if you guys saw my test video, he's friends with another guy named Jordan who has his own YouTube channel, lots of subscribers. So they're kind of working together on gaming videos and stuff, and that's, that's where his love is, and uh, but he still will join me on like love with food boxes and stuff. Uh, kids can cook too. He might might do another one. I don't know. I'll ask him. It's up to him. Uh, I'm not going to force my kid to be on the show. I'm not going to force him to play the piano. I'm not going to force him to play football. He's just going to do what he want, enjoys to do. And we're going to support him and see where his life goes. Uh, and teach him the best we can. Okay. What moving company? The company I used was United Van Lines. And... We were packed by Blue Chip slash Mayflower. Uh, and then in Tennessee, Armstrong Storage is the one who stored us. And there's like four companies. Uh, yes, you can play with a group. And sometimes there will be a random, there will be random events. So you'll be playing with a lot of people at the same time. Okay, Red 5 Cherry, I saw that. All of a sudden, I was fighting this bad guy and I couldn't beat him. And another dude walks in the room. No lie. And I didn't know that they could be in my game. He walks in and blows the dude away. And I just, and you can bow your character towards somebody. And I just gave him a little bow and as a thank you, but in the game. But it was like, thank you. I spent 10 minutes on this guy. I wasn't doing any damage because he was, he was a, a lot bigger than I was. So he walks in, smack, smacks the bad guy. All right, uh, Jack, have you tried uh, uh, Bahamian food? It's awesome. Do a show here with our food. Absolutely. If I if I go to the Bahamas, I'm definitely going to be um, getting into the... I like, if you ever go to a foreign place, never hang out where the tourists hang out. Never eat at the hotel, restaurant, or everything right by the hotel. Take a cab, go into town, meet the real people, okay? And try the real food, the food that, that the natives of that country are eating. That's where you, that's where you try... That's where great things happen. 
And, uh, oh, and if you go to Mexico, wash your hands and always use utensils. Um, that's about it, I can tell you, in Mexico. Even in Cancun, all the way down. Just make sure your hands are clean because our bodies, you, you, you know, other countries have bacteria in the air that their bodies may be okay with and they fight it off, but we may not be. So we're not used to certain bacteria of the world. Uh, seriously, that's what I learned. So, uh, Leia, uh, is it Lee? Leia? Yeah. This is the first time watching you live. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the family. Tyler M. Hey, Jack. You should try the Oreo cake. It's basically a massive Oreo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that on the internet. Okay, let's talk about my, you guys, did you guys see the cookie? It was chocolate chip cookie ice cream pie. Whew. That thing was wicked sweet. Anyway, uh, and I had trouble with the crust. Uh, I did it followed exact directions. Looked nothing like the picture, of course. Never does. And uh, we couldn't cut the crust on the bottom. So there's a part in the recipe, and I'm gonna put it in the video, uh, that you, you make the whole crust into one chocolate chip cookie. You form the crust, and you bake that first. When that comes out, you let it cool for 10 minutes. It's still warm after 10 minutes. The best tip I got from a viewer, and I don't remember who you are, but thank you so much. Um, cut the cookie then. Cut it, cut it into pie pieces then before you put the ice cream in and then freeze it, okay? Cut that cookie crust before you fill it. It's a brilliant idea. I'm so glad somebody suggested it. That then, then once you're done, it's already separate. Each, all the pieces are separate. You just lift up. You got the ice. You got the cookie, the ice cream, and then the little cookies on top, and the drizzled hot fudge. Uh, great idea. I need to, I need to put that in the video as an annotation. Uh, let's see here. Since you're into games, have you ever heard of the game Ace Combat? I've heard of it. I think the flying game, but I've never played it. Autumn. Um, Ace Combat, uh, is it good? Do you guys play it? Do you play it? Uh, I'm not big into flying games. My buddy loves flying games and air, you know, where you're doing a real plane and airports and some others. Da, 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 da. Um, I never got into it. Deborah Zotti, or is it Zodi? Uh, the pork butt looks great. Uh, thank you. That pork butt was amazing. I was, I, you ever look at something that you made and go, I don't even believe believe I made this. That's what I felt when I pulled that off. It was so beautiful. I'm going to cry. It was so good. The, the apple pellets that I used in my Traeger was amazing. And there is a, a product I want to tell you guys about. I don't want to use apple. Uh, be watching this Friday. I don't want to use apple on my ribs. I'm going to use hickory on my ribs. But my my the box that you put the pellets in on the Traeger, the metal attached side box i forgot what it's called um it has a whole bunch of pellets in there do you know how to get the pellets out i found a product that helps me get the pellets out and back into the pail that has my apple pellets and i'm going to show you right now this is called this is called a bucket head it costs if, if you have a home depot home depot makes it it's 21 dollars, and it the bucket you buy the two dollar bucket at the bottom right there that orange bucket you snap the bucket head on top of it and it becomes a, a, a wet and dry shop vac. Okay, now I bought one for $21 and I'm only using it to vacuum out my pellets. So it never gets dirty, never gets wet, never gets anything. It's just gonna vacuum pellets. So I'm gonna use this in the video to vacuum out my pellets into my apple bucket. And then I take it off and then when I'm done with the uh, hickory ones, I'll vacuum those into the hickory bucket. This is brilliant. You also might want one just for the house. It's easy. It turns any bucket into a shop vac. Really? That's amazing. When I saw that video, there's a video on YouTube that demonstrates it. Totally awesome. <laughs> What's the new product review? Uh, I, don't, I don't have a product review going on. I have a, a love of food box that just came in. Uh, that's coming up, but I don't. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, let's see. How are we doing time? Oh, we're good. Uh, for the neighbors, it probably does. For the neighbors to be uh, Talibera 2020, I'm reading her comment. Uh, for the neighbors to be at the door knocking. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have cool neighbors. 
Uh, I'm, whoops. I'm really liking everybody in my neighborhood so far. Uh, Ace Combat was intense. I love the series. This is Bobby. Uh, Bobby's writing this. Ace Combat 4 PS2, Ace Combat 5 were awesome. Oh, there's a lot of Ace Combats. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, I saw you share that on Facebook. Yes. All right. Any qu more questions? Just looked on the cookie vid and it was Shyam Patel. Oh, is that who? Is that Shyam Patel? Is that who recommended it? Awesome. Great. I'm glad the credit goes to the person who made that suggestion. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. You should play Destiny on the PS4. Uh, Jay, I'm already playing Destiny on PS4. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Kitchen tip. The little tabs. Uh, this is the big man eight twelve many. Kitchen tip: the little tabs that seal bread are great for sliding under flip top cans and prying them up, uh, so you don't break your nail. Uh, you can use a spoon too. Spoon does really good, uh, and you don't have to worry about saving the little plastic things. But uh, yeah, it's a great tip. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, and then Lewiston writes: I love empanadas. Do you know a good recipe, Jack? No, 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 no. I definitely have not done empanadas, and I've been asked many times. Uh, frita is it frutadas? Frit frittatas? I've been asked to do that, too. i got to look those up and, and get a good recipe, and we'll try that out. Like I say, I, if you guys are new to the show, uh, I would just tell you that, uh, um, that we do things first time on the show, so it's kind of cool. You watch me screw up, and you know how to do it better. See, if I do the mistake, you don't do the mistake. Or if I do it good, you know you definitely can do it great. It's kind of cool. Kind of a cool format. I don't know any other cooking show that does that. All right, let's go back to our topics real quick. Uh, let's see. A lot of you asked why I moved, and I'm just going to give you a short answer. I keep getting asked this constantly on social media and on YouTube comment section. We moved to buy our first house. That was, for, well, first and foremost, we didn't want Jack going to high school in California. We didn't like any of the schools. The one school we wanted him to go to, they wouldn't accept him because it was out of the area. They wanted him to go to a school that I refused to put him in. So that was one of the reasons we left. The other reason was Tammy and I wanted to buy our first house. This is our first home. And uh, we worked hard. We saved up. But we just, we did not want to give California our money. Real estate there is ridiculous. It's just not worth it. I'm not going to pay twice what I pay in Tennessee for traffic and, you know, all that, the bad, uh, bad economy, bad politics, bad everything in California. So we came to Tennessee. We have a beautiful school. Jack's with good people at his school. Uh, they welcomed him with open arms. Uh, we have a great neighborhood. We live in a, a nice house, uh, reasonably priced, and uh, we're happy. It's everything we wanted. Uh, those are some of the main reasons. There are many other reasons. I mean, I don't pay as much as ga for gas anymore. I don't pay much for electricity. Uh, it's just crazy. I register my car is only 60 bucks, no matter what car you drive or 80 bucks. No matter what car, I was paying like 300 in California. Everything you did in California cost money. It was just crazy. Uh, I can, I mean, food out here is less expensive in the restaurants and uh, you know, you can go for like a wedding anniversary dinner to a nice restaurant and not be busting out a hundred dollar bill. So, I mean, all across the board, uh, it been, and we have everything here. I got the big city, uh, just about 15 minutes away, Nashville, and I can go to concerts. I can go to, uh, Grand Ole Opry. I can go to the malls. Uh, I can go anywhere I want to go. Uh, but yet I come back to my house and it's beautiful and it's green and it's, you know, my backyard overlooks just trees like forest, you know, it's pretty awesome. I got little frogs that come up on the wood deck at night. A uh, little baby frog does it every night. I don't know why. I'm surprised Cupcake hasn't eaten her yet, but let's hope she doesn't. And then uh, I got squirrels all the time on my patio. I've got turkey, wild turkey that in the morning, you can see them walking down the street. No lie. Um, what else? Tons of animals everywhere. We see deer every so often. It's crazy. It's totally cool. And speaking of Turkey, I'm going there next. Uh, what does Jess mean? Oh, 
My shirt. Oh, yeah. I. It, it's. <laughs> All right. Here's a shot of my shirt. Here we go. That's the whole thing. All right. I'm a big USC fan. So, uh, it's a pretty cool shirt. My my barber shop back in Orange County sold these. They made them. Uh, I don't think they're available anymore. But uh, it's a cool USC shirt. And uh, I was at church this morning, so I thought, eh, it's a good shirt to wear to church. So anyway, um, where were we? Oh, Turkey. Turkey, I want to show you guys. I've been doing a lot of homework. I've been watching a lot of videos. I do not. I've only shot a gun once in my life, and it was with my sheriff friend, uh, Steve Okabe, and he took me to the sheriff's shooting range, you know, their little area. And that was it. You guys, I did a video on it too. So this October, I've been invited. Somebody's going to teach me how to turkey hunt. So I need to take my safety courses, and I need to uh, learn uh, hunting safety and gun safety and how to take care of my gun. Uh, this is what I've decided to go with. This is, I posted this. Oops, sorry. My, all right, this is it right here. Uh, it is a super magnum, it's made of, it's like a black matte uh, color. And uh, it's a pump. It shoots one shell at a time, and uh, that's all I'll need. Well, there's a few other things I need too. But that's it right there. That's not the price I'm paying for it. I'm getting a better price than that. But that's, I know it's hard to see. I wish I had a better picture, I apologize. But uh, that's what I'm gonna use to go, uh, go turkey hunting in October. And this is the scope I'm going to use on top. And this thing is pretty cool. I, I looked through one already. It's really weird because when you when you look through the when you look through the gun, you could see a red dot, almost like it's shooting a putting a laser on the bird. Well, not the bird, but whatever you're aiming at. I wasn't looking at a bird. And you would swear there's a laser on that thing, but when you look past the gun, there's nothing out there. It's all done within the scope, and it, you put the red dot on it, and pew. And that's it. And you and uh, and what I shoot, I will clean. I'm not going to videotape the cleaning of the bird, so you don't have to worry about that if you see my bird video. Uh, I am going to try and get my. I have a helmet cam. I'm going to see if I can get that working while when I'm hunting, so you guys can see what I see. That would be really cool. Uh, and but my my main concern is safety. So if I can't film during the hunting, I will I will take you with me. And then I will pause the video and, and get my bird and whatever. And I'm going to try and show you as much as possible. Uh, but uh, it's going to be in October. And I'm going to use that bird for my Thanksgiving video. So the bird isn't just going to be sensely shot. It's going to be part of our Thanksgiving meal. Um, so that's it. Uh, what else? Oh, and they will they will come after you. <laughs> I've heard some stories. Uh, turkeys will attack you and come after you. So... Uh, that might be funny on helmet cam too, uh, me running and screaming like a little girl. So, anyway, uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> let's see. I must have missed something. Charlie, give it time. To... <laughs> oh, what's my shirt? So, oh yeah, I showed you my shirt. Uh, box is called the Hopper. Zombie Dust Triple X. Thank you. It's called the Hopper. Uh, the, the box that's on the side of your Traeger where you put the pellets in, it's called the hopper. I know the, the thing that rotates is called the auger. Everything ends in ER. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. What else? Any other questions? Let me refresh. Whoop. I keep refreshing the wrong thing. Sorry. <laughs> you're assuming you're going to kill one. Ha! <laughs> Harold, you're funny. Uh, Harold Evans doesn't think I'm going to kill one. Uh, okay, so let, here's the deal. You might as well put your comments out now. Do you think on my first time out, I'm going to kill one? I'll be honest. I have no problem saying I'm a failure, or I screwed up, or I, you know, I missed, or any of that. I will tell you the truth just for the fun of it. I don't care. But uh, let me know if you think I'm going to get one on my first trip out. And <laughs> can you explain how to clean a bird? Uh, Charlie, I will... Uh, I will do the best I can without making it graphic. I don't want to upset anybody, but, uh, or I could clean the bird and have like a warning where you can leave the video and jump to a time frame. Oh, I can have you like click here if you don't want to watch the cleaning of the bird. I can do that. That might work too. Let me think about that. But right now we have, I have to practice with my gun. I have to do safety courses. I don't I want to do this right. I want to do it the proper way and I want to make sure I'm safe. 
Uh, the way you're talking about shooting sounds like you'll have fun. Uh, good for you. Yeah, I plan uh, Kashiko 7. I plan on having fun. I plan on enjoying myself. I'm going to be with a bunch of guys, having a good time. Um, it, it should be a blast. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's the next topic here? Uh, oh, Jack on the Go. Uh, some of you don't know I have two channels still. Uh, somebody watched Jack on the Go for years and didn't know how to cooking show. Go figure that. That's cool. So I have two channels, Cooking with Jack and Jack on the Go. Jack on the Go has a cool series that we started called Let's Eat. Well, I haven't been able to film anymore because Paul hasn't been available. Uh, he joins me on the Let's Eat series, and he's uh, out in California on business. So when he gets back, we're going to film more. Uh, we start. We launched our barbecue wars. I don't know if you guys saw that. We did Top Hog. I got more coming. This afternoon, I'm doing a taco war. Um, and uh, instead of putting them together, now we're just ranking them. So that I'm going to have a website where you're going to go to all my burger places, all my taco places. I have a question for you guys, and it's really important. So if you're not listening, pay attention. I'm thinking about, uh, I'm, I'm cooking with Jack 2 is coming back. I haven't, I haven't just revived that yet, where people can bring in their cooking videos to me, and I post up your cooking videos on cooking with Jack 2. I'm thinking on doing Jack on the Go 2, where you guys can review restaurants wherever you live, so that we're not just seeing restaurants in California, or we're not seeing restaurants just in Tennessee, or Alabama, or wherever, that we can show videos your guy, you guys can go to like a burger place in your town and film a video for me, and I'll put it up on Jack on the Go 2. Should I do a second channel for that? Should, do you guys want to just see me review, or do you want to see other people review all over the country? I haven't decided yet, but uh, my phone is blowing up. Unbelievable. Um, so let me know. I, I've always had this urge to let, like, let, let the guys in New York do pizza wars. Let the, you know, let the barbecue wars down in Memphis and Kansas City and over in North and South Carolina and all in the Carolinas, you know. Um, maybe even, uh, who knows. So... Let me know what you think about that. I just wanted to throw that out there. If so, that probably won't happen till towards the end of the year. But uh, I think we should make you, you know, let you guys talk about your hometown favorites. That'd be awesome. Uh, almost done. Uh, we're running out of time here. Oh, let's see what your questions are. Let me back up a little bit. <laughs> uh, would that be your video? Jack, I want one of your aprons. Uh, Charlie, when the store opens, we have the aprons. They'll be for sale. Uh, my sauce is almost ready. Uh, the manufacturer has perfected the recipes out here in Tennessee. I'm just signing off on them on Monday. My label guy's been emailing me. Uh, this I just got samples for my labels. So once I get those printed, we're going to manufacture sauce. And my store opens again on the internet. I have so many people waiting for the store to open. I know. I'm sorry. We're almost there. I want to do it right. Uh, hi, Jack. How are you getting settled in your new home? Raven Clan X. I am doing really well. Um, everything's going good. Uh, we're just happy to be here, and uh, we love our house. We still look at it, and we feel like we're renting still. It's really weird. Uh, owning a home, is. it takes a while to realize it's your house. I think it's going to be awesome for the holidays because we get to decorate our house the way we want. Uh, so who knows? Uh, we, we love it. Um, can't keep the koi fish alive in our pond, but we bought new koi fish to join one of our koi, one of our two koi fish died. So we got two new ones. Well, they died. So they got this one that's all by itself and he's living strong. I don't get it. I'm wondering if he's like taking out the little ones or something. I don't know. And is your son going to be with you on the hunting trip? Uh... Ali, no, my son won't be with me on the first one. I don't know if I'll bring him out uh, until I feel comfortable myself. I don't, I can't be daddy and safety and hunting and concentrating on what I'm doing. Can't do both at the same time. And, you know, m with my son going to be, you know, he's going to have to take courses too and, and learn how to handle a gun also. Um, I want to learn first. So that I, that I can teach my son and watch over him and let him enjoy the experience. But uh, I can't do both at the same time. So I'm going to go first, learn how to what I'm doing, and then he can come on a future trip 
And we'll do videos on all of them. Don't worry about it. It'll be fun. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Well, do you have three channels? Well, yeah, I do have three channels. <laughs> I said two. Ugh. Moronicron. Um, yeah, I, I do have three. I have Cooking with Jack 2. I have Cooking with Jack. Cooking with Jack 2 is where you guys can send me... Uh, uh, in fact, Angela has a video with, uh, that she sent me. And, I, and that's the next one I'm going to do. I just haven't had time. I'm still behind my schedule of filming uh, and editing. I'd love to have a crew and a cast that could help me out with this. Someday I will have that. But in the meantime, I'm doing everything myself. And uh, it gets pretty crazy over here. So uh, Cooking with Jack 2 will be up again soon, I promise. And then we're going to do a big push for it and ask for more videos. And you guys can send me your stuff. Uh, I think so. Are you going to do sushi? Sam, I'm not going to do sushi. Um, there's not a lot. First of all, there wasn't, I mean, there was a lot of sushi in California, but it was just wicked expensive. And I pay for everything out of my own pocket. And I'm not paying $25 just for me to do a sushi video for me. And then if somebody goes with me, I'm paying like $50 a pop. Sushi is expensive. And unless they, you do it during happy hour, you know, it's just, it's just too expensive. And there, there isn't, at least in California, there was a lot of okay sushi. There are very, very few places that were amazing sushi. If that makes any sense. Everybody was doing the California rolls and the, you know, packing the, the cream cheese in it. And it was all kind of the generic stuff uh, where I'd want to go do elaborate stuff. Can you come to South Carolina? This is, oh, Caitlin, can you come to South Carolina? Would love to do a cooking video. Yeah, if I ever travel and you guys want to meet with me, um, in fact, I mean, anywhere I go, you want to meet with me, I have no problem with that at all. I'll try to give everybody notice of when I travel. Uh, I'm going to Alabama. You saw my videos coming here to Tennessee. I met people in Texas. I met people in Arizona. And uh, yeah, if I go to South Carolina or if I go to North Carolina, you want to drive down or have your family bring you down, whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll do videos with anybody. It's not... I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, speaking of that, this is where I'm going to be um, July 24th. If you live in the area of Nashville and you want to join me, uh, I think I'm going at 11 o'clock right when it opens. But this is on July 24th. Uh, it's 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's called the Summer of Street Food. It's going to be downtown Nashville, which if you've ever been to downtown Nashville, it's so little, it's tiny. It's crazy small. Uh, Nashville. I mean, you could drive across Nash the city of Nashville in like five minutes. Uh, it's not like downtown LA, which is goes on forever. So don't worry. It's not hard to get around if you're coming down for the first time. But I'm all these are food trucks, and uh, they're all going to be there. About 20 food trucks. I'm doing a video there. If you guys want to join me, we'll share food together. We'll, uh, you know, you can help me review the food. Is it good? Is it bad? I'm also going to let you. I'm going to show you every truck that's there. I may not eat from every truck there, but I'm going to show you every all 20 of them. So you can see every one. You guys pick which one sounds the best to you. It's going to be fun. So if you're in the area, come join me. Uh, <laughs> the skinny chef says to uh, to somebody else, the N Nyan Cast Bro, the safest way to know when your meat is done is to take its temperature. Absolutely get a temperature you can get those they're like a couple dollars to take the temperature of your meat look on the internet and do me a favor don't just look on one site look on three sites to get correct temperature and the reason why i'm saying that is uh sometimes you'll hit a website that's wrong and i don't want you getting sick so go, the number is three go to three websites to confirm i did it for my pork butt i went to three different sites uh i saw 195 195 and 200 so i knew uh you know or there's, or there's some uh you could look on the government site too but who can trust the government right <laughs> i was just kidding no i'm not all right so anyway uh yeah always take the temperature just stab it it's better don't worry about putting a hole in it you want to make sure your meat's good and it's at the right temperature they have charts you can buy um they have i'm sure there's an app that'll tell you all that too maybe the weber app I don't know, but yeah, the skinny chef knows his stuff. Uh, that's the way to do it. Greg Honeycutt, he knows his stuff. Uh, mid rare, here we go. A mid rare steak uh, will be 130 to 140. A thermometer is your best friend when cooking. 
I never used thermometers. I hated it. I'm like, I don't want to wash it and pull it. It's so lame. Just pull it out. I was, I'm just, I'm the laziest guy you guys will ever be. All right. So what do we got next? Uh, next week I'm going to be in HD. I'm going to master the software. Be ready for that. The winner's packages for all over the world. I have the envelopes back here somewhere. I'm going to start addressing them and get them out. So all the winners that contacted me, uh, I have your addresses. Be looking for the hats, shirts, aprons, all that stuff. Uh, that's my goal. I want to get those out. Once again, doing everything myself, so bear with me. My wife works all day, so it's, it's not like she can help until she gets home at night, and then she's tired. And I really don't want to put her in any more work than already she's done. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me see. <laughs> Give it a little refresh. Make sure you guys don't have any last questions. Uh, what other hobbies do you... Here we go. Uh, Ali says, what other hobbies do you like except cooking? I like video games. I like cooking. Uh, I love music. Absolutely love music. Uh, who's that new artist I just discovered? And I like all music. I like everything from Metallica to Mozart. All of it. Uh, but I just discovered a new artist. Hang on a second. I'm going to open my Pandora. What's her name? Is it? Yes, I think it is. There it is. Okay. Yep, there she is. Okay, so here's, uh, there's a new artist, not a new artist. Forgive me. I hope she forgives me if she sees this. Uh, her name is Stacy Kent. It's new to me only. She has the most amazing voice. Uh, I heard a song from her and I don't even know where I heard it. Uh, but I'm putting it on the on the comment. Stacy Kent. I created a whole station based on her on Pandora. She is amazing voice. She's from New Jersey, um, and her every song I've heard from her is awesome. Now, I don't know if you guys are into standards like Diana Krall or or you're into Sinatra or you're into Michael Bublé or whatever. She's kind of in that category. Her voice is clean. It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. All right. Uh, Skinny Chef, Weber has a great guide to go by. Oh, has a great guide. Uh, they are a trusted name, but I agree with checking out multiple sources. Very cool. Thanks, man. Uh, Harold writes, most good thermometers have a card with them with the temps for doneness. Uh, Jay writes, if you like food trucks and food carts, you should come to Portland, Oregon. Uh, yeah, Jay, I did a video uh, at the Skillet on Jack on the Go channel, and that started as a food truck. It still has the food truck. They still do it. Uh, I love food trucks. I think it's a great way to start out. Um, if you know what you're doing, you got recipes, you got money to do it, get the truck, get it going. If you haven't seen the movie Chef, you've got to see that movie. It's one of my favorite movies of the summer, and it talks about a food truck, a uh, guy with a food starting his own food truck. Um, and it's a great movie, great soundtrack. I bought the soundtrack. It was awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm going into the seventh grade, homeschool. My teacher wrote and said I can go into eighth grade history, and I think math. I'm doing high school work. Very cool, Caitlin. Keep keep the grades up, uh, and Caitlin, if you cook, keep cooking too, because I'm telling you right now, uh, a lot of jobs over time are disappearing, but people are always going to be eating, and I don't ever believe cooking will ever be replaced by a robot. So the food industry is really, really a great industry to get into because we need to eat to survive. It's always going to be there. I think that's it. Um, will you ever visit the UK? You could have Sunday roast and try the yellow hockey pucks. Okay, Tyler M is jabbing at me right now because I destroyed uh, Yorkshire pudding on my video and they look like yellow hockey pucks. That's what he's referring to. And then I, did re I apologized to the whole country of England and then I did a redo video and so anyway, ah, let me tell you something. I have a huge desire to go to the UK. Uh, I have a huge desire to go to a lot of countries and visit you guys and do like a meetup where we can all meet at one moment and hang out and do food together. And, you know, you know what would be cool if I went to the UK and I found a location, we do a potluck and all you, you guys in the UK can try make a dish and we all bring it together and we talk about it and we do a video together. That'd be huge. How cool would that be to go country to country and do a meetup, uh, do a meetup potluck? Oh, that's a great idea. All right, so I'm just gonna steal that idea, I know it. Some other foodie will take it. 
Where in Alabama are you going? Uh, Harold, I, I think Greg Honeycutt's in Alabama. I, I don't know yet in Alabama, but I'm going down there probably for some barbecue. I know that. Uh, I haven't, we haven't mapped it out yet. Uh, I have some family down in Alabama, but they live kind of in the hills out of the way. So, uh, I did do one review. It was Blue Moon. It's a drive through barbecue place. It was crazy. It was delicious. Um, oh, GW Revolution TV is from Alabama. Hey, that's cool. Uh, Skinny Chef, uh, I am in the upstate HBU, Caitlin. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, Cornelia Sneedley. Yeah, you go spend 30 bucks on sushi, then afterward you go get a burger. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are in a great mood. I'm going to leave you in a great mood. Um, it was great talking food with you guys every Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, 11 Central, 12 Eastern. Uh, I don't know the rest of the times, but uh, just check, uh, subscribe to me or friend me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus, and I put links every time I'm going to go live. So I think that's it, you guys. Uh, I love you. Take care. And I will uh, see you on the videos this week. And I will see you live next, uh, next Saturday morning. Thanks. Bye-bye.